Kyle, if you win a championship, do you think you're going to hang it up? Win or lose, I think, uh, yeah. Let's talk about before this season. What did you envision for this season when you came to training camp in Florida? A cool experience being drafted and just had that opportunity. And uh, it was an awesome thing that uh, Kyle reached out the week before training camp. I mean, I was pretty nervous going in, so I had him and Landis shoot on me a little bit. I kind of calmed the nerves a little before training camp and then um, was welcomed with open arms there. And so everyone was really friendly. And, Made friends fast. Yeah, no, for me it was just excited to get going, right? I've spent so much time working on the PLL and operating and, and trying to get things together that once training camp finally hit, I, I just wanted to play. Um, and so it was exciting and, and uh, you know, as, as we were talking about earlier, just we wanted to be here in the end, so we're excited to be here. Yeah, I think this duo is very interesting because you're both at different ends of the spectrum when it comes to your career. Yeah. Throughout the season, have you guys talked to each other about that? You know, have you talked to him to sort of rejuvenate your energy? Have you talked to him to sort of get, you know, some uh, leadership and, you know, veteran uh, opinions? Yeah, definitely coming in. I mean, my biggest thing was just coming as a sponge and taking anything, yeah. like he says, or Greg or Joe, just as veterans know so much. And uh, Andy is my fashion coach a little bit, bought my first pair of jeans last week with him, so. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, look, we won't spend much time on this, but it was very uncomfortable that he didn't own a pair of jeans uh, and that his outfit to go anywhere was khakis and a polo. And so once I found out there was no jeans in his closet, we had to go shopping last week. So took care of him there. But no, I think having Timmy, Ryder, all these young guys, their energy is obviously contagious, right? And I think our team is the perfect balance of like the veterans who have kind of been through a lot. Uh, we got that middle group that's like the, the up and coming stars. And then you got the, the young guys who just are so energetic. And I mean, from Timmy, the, the second he got the training camp, he's talking trash to all of us as we're shooting on him. Some of us are like, yo, shit, like who is this cat? But that's what like makes him tick, right? And that's what, that's what makes him go. And I think our defense has taken on that personality. So I think we got the right mesh of guys the defense and yourself too have sort of become like the bad boys of the PLL. Do you think that you and the defense have embraced that role and do you think it's helped you get to this point? I mean, for me, definitely talking smack kind of gets me going a little bit. And yeah. I think same with other guys. I mean, we're not really bad boys. I mean, we just mm -hmm. try not to let them score and just play our hardest and just whatever happens, happens. But it's always a good time letting the offense know when they're not doing well and they suck. So <laughs> not afraid to say something. In the middle of the season, there was a time where you were 50 days without a win. I'm sure that's tough on any team and on a team's mentality. How do you think that has shaped you to get to the championship? I really had to like look in the mirror, I would say, and just figure out what I wasn't doing and what I needed to work on and go back to that. Because I guess sometimes like you, I'd say I got complacent. Yeah. So, and then that, and then just the veterans too. Just ask them, I mean, they've been there before. So, just following them and just trust everyone. I think for our group, our leadership at the top with Coach Nat and his staff, down through Joe and Greg and the rest of the guys on our team, like, we're all focused on the task at hand, which is getting to championship weekend, and, and here we are. Yeah, head coach uh, Nat St. Laurent has really established himself as a coach in this sport. Do you think he was snubbed of Coach of the Year? So I've, know, I've known Coach Nat for a really long time. I was so excited when I found out that I was going to have the opportunity to play for him again. And, and obviously, we're biased because we play for the guy, but he is our coach of the year without a doubt, uh, whether he was nominated or not. So I won't get into was he snubbed, was he not snubbed. That's not for me to decide, but he is 100% our coach of the year without a doubt. So you guys of late have been on a hot streak, and momentum is everything in sports. What do you think's been that special sauce that's gotten you to this point? I think we all had like a turning point and it was when we got smacked in Hamilton. Uh, I can't remember what the score was, but it, it was, uh... It was bad. It was like 10, 12 goals. 17-4. Yeah, that, yeah, great. I'm glad, glad one of us remembers it. No, it wasn't, it wasn't good. Four goals at professional level is just not acceptable in a game, right? Like, especially when you have the talent we have on our team. So we had, like, a bunch of these conversations going on. Landis and I had a difficult talk that week, too, uh, where he, he just came and, and told me what was going on in the defense, and he said, like, I need you to be more vocal. When I think that week for us, everyone started uh, refocusing on their job, right? Because when we all do our jobs, we're really good. If you look at Glazner, um, I I think he's so important to our defense because he controls the entire thing. He might not cover the ball like Epp or Landis, but he's telling everybody where to go and what to do, right? And so I think after that week, we all refocused on our job on this team and what we have to do to be successful. And I think that's what kind of spurred this run we've been on a little bit here. You guys will be facing the Whip Snakes on Saturday. How do you think you match up with them? I think it should be a dog fight, to be honest with you. I mean, I think we're pretty even all around every position. So to me, I think game of the year. This is what this is what why I still play at 36, right? For an opportunity to play in a game like this. They're great. They got great goaltending just like we do. They got a great defense just like we do. Uh, they got guys on offense that all share the ball and I think when they are sharing the ball, that's when they're at their best and you look at our team, that, that's when we're at our best, right? So I think we match up well and these are the games you want to play in. Kyle, if you win a championship, do you think you're going to hang it up? Nope. Nope.
Win or lose, I I'm playing one more. I think, uh, I don't, if, if it was gonna be like one of those, I would have started that at the beginning of the season. Like, I still love being around our team. We got a great group, um, so no. So you've won college championships, you've won pro championships, so what would it mean to win this championship? The only reason I still play is to win, right? Like, I, at, at 36, I've been fortunate that I've, I've won a lot, whether that was in college or professionally, and I've been able to, to win some things. So for me, winning a championship is the only reason to play, and I, and I think so at the end of the day here, to win with this group uh, would be really special. Yeah, I mean, I'm, um, I ended up bad career in college, and I mean, not a bad career, but lost my uh, senior in the championship game, so definitely some bad blood there and a big chip on my shoulder. But, I mean, for me, winning it is just credit to all the coaches and people that have supported me. That's who I give it to, and that's why I apply for them, too, and love the game. Redwoods LC, the first ever PLL champions. What would that mean for the legacy of this team? I think it would be a pretty cool experience. Um, I mean, it's a lot of time and effort we put in, so I think it would be well-deserved if we end up winning it. Uh, so I'm a guy that I try not to look back too much uh, just because there's so much going on. I think for me, though, if we are fortunate enough to win, like this is going to be a pretty special journey, right? I, I remember my first conversation with Paul two years ago about this, and then fast forward to right now, like having the opportunity to play in the first ever PLL championship and potentially win the first ever PLL championship, like this is, uh, this is one of those things you tell your kids about one day.